Hello everybody, welcome back to Art of La Carte. Today I'm going to be talking about thumbnails. Now a thumbnail is an art term for a bunch of little tiny pictures that help you in the creation of your larger final piece. So for example, I'm going to take this mermaid drawing line art that I did on Monday. So if you want to see that creation process, you can definitely jump over and check out Monday's video. But as I am deciding on what colors to use, sometimes I will print out several little versions of that piece and color all of those little ones to help me get a better idea of what looks good. I want to take you along with the thought process of how I choose out the colors that I use. Now this is something you guys may be familiar with is the color wheel. The color wheel kind of showcases all the different colors that are available out there. They can be really simple like this one that has just the six colors or it can be a little bit more complex. When you look at the color wheel, you can choose colors that are neighboring each other and they work wonderful. Or you can choose what are called complementary colors. And that's if you choose one color from one side of the color wheel and you go directly over to the other side, that side complements it. And so you can see that with the yellow and the purple. Another great example of that is to look at the Disney character, Ariel. She is a beautiful example of complementary colors, the red and the green. So that's one way you can choose out your colors that look good together. Another option is to go with a hue choice. So you pick a certain color, maybe we'll go with the red one, and then we'll take different hues of that. A lighter hue will give you a pink, where a darker will give you like that deep maroon. Here's another idea for choosing out color combinations, is to pick a theme. So for this mermaid, I wanted to create maybe a light in the darkness. So I colored her really dark, a dark blackish blue fin, dark skin tone, but then I wanted her hair to be this whitish light yellow hair that kind of looked like a light. So let's move on to another idea, using a gradient. Unlike the hue, which stays in one color family, a gradient can change from one color into another. So here I have an orange fading into a yellow. You can also choose your colors dependent on inspiration. So here I wanted to create a mermaid who maybe lived in the Indian Ocean. So I wanted that rich, deep, vibrant colors that I see in the different saris. So I used a bright, vibrant red and then just super black, inky hair with a rich skin tone. But don't think you have to stick with just one format, really pushing yourself to mix up things and come up with some fun ideas and to push yourself. So for the last two mermaids, I'm doing kind of a koi fish look to them where I'm using just kind of splotch, splotches and blotches of color to create my mermaids. The first one a little bit more plain and then the, the second one I got a little bit more bold with to create a more in-depth look to it. But again, the thumbnails are not about creating completed pictures just to get a quick idea of which color combinations will work best. Now, like I said in Monday's video, I'm going to be releasing this picture now, for those of you who would like to take the thumbnail challenge, if, if you look in the description box of this video, you will find a link to where you can download this very thumbnail piece. So you can try coloring all nine of these mermaids. So if you're interested in doing the thumbnail challenge, make sure to hit that link. But before you do, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos because I have some pretty big announcements coming up in the next week or so. Those of you who have been watching my Instagram, may have an idea what that announcement might be. But if not, don't worry, I will definitely be sharing more information about the big, big news coming up in the next week or so. Well, anyway, until then, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope, I hope it inspires you to jump out and try different color combinations. So until next time, God bless you guys, keep coloring, and we'll see you in another art video. Bye-bye.